ozone depleting substances and their release to the environment. Ozone depleting substances or ODSs are mainly used in refrigeration and air conditioning. ODSs are released into the atmosphere in a variety of ways, such as leaks in equipment and products that contain ODS, venting and purging during servicing of refrigeration and air conditioning systems, disposal of ODS-containing products and equipment such as foams and refrigerators without prior recovery of the ODSs. ODSs remain in the atmosphere for decades and continue depleting the ozone layer. However, discovering their ozone depletion potential in the mid-1970s compelled manufacturers of chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs to turn to less damaging options such as hydrochlorofluorocarbons or HCFCs which are less harmful than CFCs and hydrofluorocarbons or HFCs which have zero ozone depleting potential. In 1987, the Montreal Protocol introduced controls on the production and consumption of CFCs. The ozone-depleting potential of HCFCs became a concern that led parties to the Montreal Protocol to agree on a freeze in the HCFC consumed quantities from 1996 in developed countries and 2013 in developing countries. Realization of the global warming potential of HFCs led to the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol in 2016, which was an agreement to phase down the use of HFCs. Despite efforts to phase out the more damaging halocarbons, their use still prevails. However, Sri Lanka, like all other countries, is committed to controlling these chemicals to replace them with alternatives. Think globally, act locally.